Hello friends, uh, this is Dr. Ashwarya Kaushik, your original guru for conservative dentistry, endodontics and dental materials. First of all, a very happy Diwali to all of you friends. Um, um, today we are going to discuss, um, you know, a correlation, an integrated video of dental materials as well as restorative dentistry, right? We'll be discussing a case in which, you know, in my practice, we've done a a re-root canal treatment, fine, that's, we, we're not going to go into the details of that, that is for another day. Um, today, it is about the restorative dentistry part where the patient has opted for an all ceramic restoration and quickly I want to discuss with you, you know, normally what happens is that we, um, you know, directly jump on to um, a conclusion, okay, all ceramic means so and so, so and so, zirconia, Right. And we rest, we just leave to the lab. Right. After all, being clinicians, it's our responsibility to give our inputs, our detailed discussion with our patient, with our laboratory support. Right. So that, you know, we can for a given particular situation for for the patients, um, you know, assessing their occlusion, assessing whether we're dealing with anterior or posterior dentition, assessing whether the patient is having any parafunctional habits or not, we have to give as clinicians, as doctors, as surgeons, we have to give our inputs regarding what will be the best for the patient in a given situation. It's not like, you know, all ceramic restoration, okay, fine. So we have two or three types and we just, you know, um, it's like um, force feed, uh, you know, material selection uh, based on whatever the lab thinks is best for the patient. We just tell the patient with restricted, you know, um, uh, options. So it's always better to have a better understanding of what basically we are dealing with as far as material aspect is concerned and then applying it clinically, right? So let's just see this case um, which has been done um, in, my, in my practice. You know, this is a yeah, so we have this, you know, this is actually a retreatment case, right? So I removed the crown, I split the crown in two sections, right, buccolingually with a burr and um, I delivered the crown, like uh, re retrieved the crown, did a pre-root canal treatment, it was a failing root canal treatment with recurrent abscess. Uh, the patient was asymptomatic for quite some time and then we modified the prep, took the impression and then I gave the options of whether, you know, ask the patient whether you want to go for all ceramic, whether you want to go for um, all metal, metal crown or a PFM. The patient shows that he wants the best. So um, that's the impression and uh, the cast. And this is your all ceramic restoration that has been delivered to us. That's the inside surface. You can see, right? Very nice, uh, nicely prepared, nicely done all ceramic restoration. You can see the characterization that the lab support has given us. Um, there is staining on the, you know, occlusal groove to give that real look, right? So yeah, let's quickly discuss what are the options that we have while um, we choose a case for an all ceramic restoration. So that's your integrated... dental materials and restorative dentistry video that we're talking about today, friends. I really like this concept of integrated videos, right? Where we can apply our theoretical knowledge and do the best for our patients. So when we talk of all ceramic, let us quickly revise. That would be helpful for all of you who are preparing for your exams as well as, well as for clinicians. So for all ceramic restoration, we can have centered restorations in which which are nowadays obsolete you know so what all do we have for all ceramic you know options we have alumina right guys um then we have um leucite alumina leucite mostly you know we are restricting to anteriors Anterior crowns, anterior single unit crowns, they don't have that strength 
for posterior and long span bridges of a posterior crown. So this goes, this we reject, right? Then the other philosophy is what? We have glass infiltrated, glass infiltrated ceramics, right? Which are known as in cerams. In ceram. So in this also we have three categories. You can have alumina based, you can have spinel, in, in ceram spinel, right? In which basically you have magnesia uh, in combination with alumina. And we have in ceram um, um, combination of alumina and zirconia, right? Alumina and zirconia. This again is basically a technique which is no longer very commonly used, guys. Why? Because again, this is based on what? Um, lanthanum glass being infiltrated on partially sintered. Um, ceramic, right? You have a refractory mold onto which you put your uh, powder and distilled water mixture and you do partial sintering. So that's the other type. So one is within all ceramic, again, revised, sintered. Then we have glass infiltrated ceramics. Then, so these are more or less obsolete. We don't really use them. Then we have, um, what do we call as HIPs? Hot isostatically pressed, hot isostatically pressed ceramics. All right. Hot pressed ceramics, hot pressed ceramics. Now, these are important both for your MCQ also as well as your practical knowledge. You know, you should be in a position to interact with your laboratory technician. So, what do we have here? We have um, IPS. Empress 1, which is based on leucite. Now, this again is not good for our case because it is recommended for anterior crowns, right? It does not have that level of high level of crystalline loading. Then we have IPS Empress Emax, that is Emax 2, second generation, which is based on lithium disilicate. And this can be used for posterior crown. So we could have gone for this. There was no problem with that. Then, of course, the most modern which we talk about is our um, CAD CAM. Now, in CAD CAM, we have two types. One is hard machined. And the other is soft machined. Now, when we say soft machine, it doesn't mean that the material is soft. It's just that it is partially sintered. And then you put that partially sintered block is then subjected to computer aided designing, right? And milling in the milling machine, right? The ingot of that material. And once you get that block, which is oversized, then you complete your sintering by doing thermal, by, by giving it heat treatment, right? And this is where zirconia comes in play. And what we used here was, you know, the PFZ technique, the porcelain fused to zirconia. That means, you know, you have a glass ceramic kind of a consistency after heat treatment of this zirconia. This is what? This is yetria stabilized zirconia. Yetria stabilized zirconia tetragonal polycrystals, right? In which at room temperature, the zirconia can exist at in a tetragonal state and when under stresses it can uh, you know undergo phase transformation known as transformation toughening and get converted into monoclinic so that you know compressive stresses are generated and um, fracture propagation is restricted for hard machined you have all the siliceous materials siliceous ceramics are of three types uh, we have um, your um, feldspar, then we have leucite, and we have lithium disilicate. So they don't have that level of, you know, excessive hardness to start off with. 
so they can be like fully centered and then subjected to computer aided milling all right so that's the difference between cad cam of zirconia and you know alumina ceramics versus uh, the siliceous ceramics that is feldspar lithium disilicate and leucite so here we went for zirconia crown this is a uh, you know after having detailed discussion with the laboratory this patient is a posterior tooth attrition is there probably the patient is a you know he is giving some plus minus history of bruxism so we went for some high strength you know after you know doing uh, machining of the cat by the cat cam process you can go for you know further strengthening by doing thermal um, um heat treatment of this material and uh, that would lead to you know a very high level up to 99% of crystalline zirconia being there in the set in the in the in your restoration in this restoration that you can see on the on the screen so this really gives the uh, you know um the 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 crown almost that level of strength that a metal or a porcelain infused to metal crown has so we have the advantages of having an all ceramic restoration yet we have the strength of a conventional pfm restoration right guys so this was about this integrate, just an insight short video on the integrated concepts of dental materials and restorative dentistry. Thank you.